Hello everybody, my name is the TFY, and welcome back to another Nazgoth um, video. I'm going to be taking a look actually at two other classes. Um, I've actually been playing these classes a lot myself. Um, as you can tell, this is pa uh, recorded on, actually this is recorded on February, February tw 13th. Friday the 13th, yay, everyone would freak out, okay. So, this is past the February 12th patch, which, incl which included, like, rank increase 50, uh, and balancing changes to the summoner. Now, the summoners, actually, one of the two classes that I'm going to show you, the other being the Prophet. Now, the summoner, I, she, I actually quite like her. Um, purely just because she's got a lot of crowd control, and she can send the little stalkers, which is cool. Uh, normally, she would just have this abyssal. I guess that's how you pr would pronounce it. Abyssal bolt. Which, if you don't know, is essentially just gi giant projectile that you charge in your hand. And then you let loose on enemies. And after the patch, normally its duration would last for 2 seconds. Meaning that it would slowly explode into a giant ball. Now it's 1.5. I don't know how I feel about that because I generally use this as a crowd control thing rather than a damage dealer. Because after the 1.5 seconds, it deals a massive explosion. But you know, I'm I'm okay with just the 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 enemy trying to move away from it. Um, I did get this just by leveling up my character. If you don't know, if you, when you level a character to level, uh, where was it? To level five or higher, you get like an additional um, little bag that contains like a miscellaneous item. In my case, I got this abyssal bolt, which decreases my ability cooldowns by five percent, but decreases my movement speed by two percent, which I'm okay with it. I'm actually okay with that. It also has a charge time, as you can, item charge, as you can see there. I'm pointing my finger at the screen for some reason. Uh, you can see it's just 48%. Um, that is essentially how long you can use the item. You can, if you want to, um, how did I do it before? Recharge the item. And it's gonna cost more based on how drained it is. It seems like it's a thousand overall, which isn't too bad, you know, if you play the game normally. Like, I got myself to rank 15, I have 2,000 coins, and... The only thing I've ever spent coins is on the Prophet, which I'll get for a permanent perk. I've spent a couple uh, temporary ones on the Alchemist, the Hunter, and the uh, Tyrant. Or not the Hunter. Yeah, the Alchemist and the Tyrant. So, that is this. Um, you c I do have, actually, a Hellstrike that I got from a bag as well. But I don't generally like using... I just don't like the ability, personally. It's not, like the summoner, I generally try to use the Abyssal Bolt and the Stalkers as crowd control. Like, no, the Abyssal Bolt as crowd control to separate all the guys, and then the summoners as sort of a distraction. I do like the idea of one, but it just seems much easier to focus on than just these two. Like, these two are a bit more hard to manage than just the one I've noticed from actually fighting them and watching other players use both abilities and then of course she has the barrier which I know she doesn't have a secondary for uh, or an uh, option for a secondary ability um, I hope that'll get changed because I'm not too big a fan of this barrier it's a nice retrieval method and it does help me um, protect allies while they're consuming a body but it's not my favorite thing in the world now we're getting on to the profit now this is quite nice. The, the Prophet is probably my favorite human class along with us. And I think the Summoner is probably my favorite vampire class. I, before I go to the Prophet, I did like the Tyrant. And I personally, I do like playing semi-tanky characters in the game. But he wasn't really tanky so much that he could take damage for the other players. He was just a brute, which doesn't really... Eh. Alright. Profit. Normal loadout consists of dual pistols and the hex shot, which fires a bullet that disables and slows your target. Which is quite... Which it was okay. And then there's life leech, which 
rips uh, force from a vampire to heal, heal myself. I personally go out with this loadout. I actually got the quick pistols from my bag as well, which gave me 5% health and 15% minimum supply from health stations, which is a lot, but my two primary and secondary abilities are ways of healing myself, so I don't really need the healing station. So I have the Draining Curse, which puts a field in the area and enemies to walk into it. Um, I receive half of the, the, da the damage as health. And then the Life Leash, which rips the Force Target from a Vampire to heal myself. I think it does about 300 to the Vampire, 200 health to me or something. I haven't really noticed ex I know that it heals me for 200, I just don't know how much it does to the Vampire. It's at least 200. But it's quite nice. It makes this character a lot more tanky and a lot, and and definitely allowed to. Uh, let's just say it's a lot harder to kill this character than you might think. All right. And then, of and then of course we have the daily perk, which is reduces weapon shot spread and increases melee damage by 20% when below 33% health. So that's cool. Shall we? Now, because I'm past level 15, I can't go to the new recruit anymore. That, that it's just that's just what happened. It gets blanked out. I can't click it or anything. So, team deathmatch. I did notice in the patch note that they did change the matchmaking system, so this may take a bit. I probably should have. But we shall see. I'm hoping to get into a new match. This is actually my first time um, playing the game since the patch, so I don't honestly know how long these uh, loading times are going to take. Yeah. In terms of my coins though, um, oh I do want to mention also, I am level 15 so I do have an extra artifact to spend on uh, unlocking another character. I'm actually going to wait for the new one that was announced, uh, The I don't know why it's not shown here, I guess maybe it's delayed. but. The Shield Baron, or what do they call him? There was another name they were referring to as. This matchmaking system is taking a while, actually. Yeah, w what was his name? Um, but you know, the guy, the new class that's going to be announced soon. That's just the guy with the Iron Shield. You know, maybe he'll be in next week's patch notes for all we know. Um, I am excited to play that class. I know the dev. A lot of people have been hoping this, and the developers have pretty blatantly said it that this is not a melee human class. Which again, I'm okay with it. But he looks tanky. He looks like still he's going to be able to take a lot of damage and do a lot of damage, but it's quite slow, which I am perfectly okay with. So yeah, don't really know. Don't really know much about the map. But hey. I do want to say this matchmaking is taking a while. I didn't mind the old system, to be honest. And t to be perfectly honest, I don't know if there's a way in game to, like, tell other players' levels. I noticed that. Is this game seriously gonna... Uh... Oh. Here we go. Okay, we're in an intermission. So, one guy's left, so... Hey, I'm, look, I'm teamed with the pizza. Yay. Okay. So, I, again, I don't know if there's a way to like check players' in-game levels. I can right click them and do all this, but. And if I need to, I may communicate to my team, so. Let's do this. Oop. Ah. 
sorry. IRL, I'm just sitting, I was sitting in an awkward position. Alright, this map, this map I'm actually, I've got mixed feelings about it. I think it's better for the vampires, but, because there are a lot of high places to go. Alright, speaking of, we're starting as the vampires. Okay. So, I want to see how this abyssal, abyssal bolt works. Will be as the dry land it also has a 25% speed. Uh, decrease when I'm actually charging it, so I gotta be careful about that. I know my frame rate looks slow, it's really not. So I'm sorry about that. Alright. Destroy them! Alright, go my little minions. Ah, dang it, this one got stuck. Beautiful. Your spirit will serve. There we go. Oh, we killed everyone, okay. Alright. So where are they now? We got an eight. Are you serious right now? Oh no, he's active. Oh, they're there. Will you die? Thank you. I'm actually going to take this body, why not? Okay, we have seven. Oh, one of the- ah, oh, jeez. Well, this is going to be one-sided, isn't it? That's unfortunate. I hate people who leave the game, especially whenever they're losing the vampires, because... A lot of people say that the vampires are overpowered. I don't disagree, but yet at the same time, I feel like the vampires have a higher learning curve. Oh jeez. Gotta move. Okay, I'm moving. Gotta move, gotta move. Ow, ow, ow. I stalkers. Go distract them. Get up there. Oh jeez! Well, that went well. Uh, I have mixed feelings on this class, personally. I don't mind it, but it's got very high burst damage. Alright. We were li winning by 7, and now we're winning by 5. We need to get it together. There we go, now... Hello. Actually, that was dumb. The stalkers are going to have to go around. Oop. Will you die? Dang it! Oh. 
I'll take this then. Hmm. Or at least that's brought me back to full health. Wait, where were they? Oh, they were over there. Okay. Like I said, I don't expect my stalkers to deal massive amount of damage. I just expect them to be a good... Okay, that was dumb. Move, move, move. Body over here if anybody needs it. Making sure my ally can he can heal. I haven't needed to protect anybody. Oh geez. Whoa. Why am I climbing on the railing? There we go. Jump mechanics can be a bit weird sometimes, but I have a bad habit of just holding shift. Oh jeez. Go get him. Oh jeez. I was not paying attention to my health there. Oh well. It's... The match is still going in our favor. Victory for Melkaya! How am I doing? Oh, I'm last place. Well, this is awkward. Oh jeez, move, 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 move. We're okay. Yay, we won! 30 to 10. I am so sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I wonder... Can't wait to get the summoner to 10. Alright, gonna cut this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next time, The Prophet.